creating stairs uh, in Revit is pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> there are basically two ways to create a stair. Uh, you can create it using uh, by run or by riser. Um, to start creating, to start using the stair tool, go to the modeling tray to the left um, and choose the stairs tool. This brings you into a sketch mode. Uh, from here, you can choose two different ways to create your stair. You can either choose it by run uh, or by riser. Uh, the, the run tool um, is a little bit more flexible. Um, so basically, uh, zooming in uh, when you decide to create a stair, uh, first go to the stairs property button, and this is where you can start defining uh, what the stair is going to be. Uh, the base, this opens up an element properties window. Uh, your first parameter is base level, which is uh, the level you'll start out at. So we'll start at level one. Um, top level, you can choose uh, to finish on the second floor. And in the case of this building, it's actually a three-story building. Um, and so you have the option to choose multi-story top level, which will basically repeat the stair up through all the floors. Uh, however, to use this tool, all your floors need to be the same height. Um, and in this model, they are not. So I'll go ahead and choose none. You can always copy up the model. Um, going down through the options, uh, the other important one would be the width. You can change it here to five feet and desired number of risers. Um, it can, it'll give you an automatic value or you can uh, choose something here. Um, once everything looks good, you can go ahead and click OK. And now that you've got the basic properties of your stair set, uh, the next thing is to just um, start drawing out the path that the stair is going to follow. Um, so I will click to start and drag it out. And you can see the text telling you, um, as you drag out the path of the stair, how many um, runs you have left. Um, if it's a straight stair, uh, you can do one shot or you can always select your path and using the handles, uh, drag it back. And in this case, if you want a, a scissor stair, um, choose the run tool again to draw a new line for new path and lining it up, um, draw a run out going the other direction. And you can see it automatically connects the path and creates a landing for you. Um, I'm just gonna adjust these runs so that they're even, dragging the handles out. And um, you notice at the bottom that the text is telling me that um, I have two left. Um, so I'll place one on each side. Once I'm pretty happy with um, where it is, I can, I can grab this and move it in. I'll cho just choose uh, Finish. And it's created a stair for me. So if I go to the 3D view of the model, and um, I will hide the roof for now. Come in. You can see that it has created a stair in here. Notice that there is not an opening or a shaft opening for through the floor for the stair. So to create a an opening for your stair, you want to create a shaft opening. To do that, um, go back to the tool tray. And under the modeling tab, um, choose the opening tool. Um, I'll have to go to the more tools come down to opening, and then choose shaft opening. Uh, choosing the shaft opening, you'll want to go back to a floor plan view to start drawing out the footprint of your shaft. Um, so I'll go to the first floor. And while in the sketch mode, um, draw the lines that will be the footprint of the opening. So I'll go ahead and choose the rectangle tool at the options bar at the top, and click a starting point and a finish point. And I can go to the Properties button, which is located in the tool tree to the left. Um, and I can de define um, where what this shaft is cutting through. A uh, shaft opening tool is handy for cutting through multiple floors. Um, so starting at my base, which is level 1, and, and uh, going to my top constraint, I can choose how many floors I want the shaft to cut through. I'll go ahead and choose the, the top floor, which is the third floor. Click OK. Uh, now that my footprint is drawn out, I'll choose Finish Sketch. And if I go back to the 3D view uh, and zoom in, 
you can see that a hole has been cut through the floor for the stairs.